on my knees when the law came. What? What's going on, bro? What is going on in the USA? Actually, you know what? Thank you, Young Thug. Because I'm so tired of talking about this damn election. I'm so glad to get back to the hip-hop. Y'all don't understand. But y'all, before we even get into the tweet and what uh, Thug said about Gunna, I just need to have a conversation with Thug's lawyer. What What is considered violating Thug's probation? Because ever since he got out, first he putting out tweets about rats. Now he now he telling Gunna, hey, we, we not friends, bro. Like, anything that got to do with the streets, Young Thug should be staying very far away from it. Now, he, he tweeted this, and by the way, the tweet says, Gunna, stop acting like we friends on the internet. I don't know you, my guy. But I just, every time I see a tweet from Young Thug, I think to myself, my nigga not going to make it 15 years, bro. That 15 years of probation, bro, it, 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 every time it's something he should not be involved in, he tweeting about it. This should not be on the internet, bro. He should not be letting the, the, the government and the courthouses know that he got any issue with any of the co-defendants or anybody involved in that YSL shit. Why are you doing this? And like I said, some people are trying to say he got hacked. And, and I don't know, maybe his lawyer, he going to go to the courts and say, you know, he got hacked. He didn't say nothing about no rats. He didn't say nothing about Gunner. They're hacking his account. And, and maybe they'll go for that. But at a certain point in time, my nigga, it, it looked like if you can't tweet about nothing positive, you need to shut the shit down. Shut it all down. Okay. Now, let's just get back to the main meat and potatoes. Y'all know when Thug got out, I said, look, are we going to see a reconciliation between Thug and Gunna? Because to me, it wasn't really clear when Thug was locked up how serious the beef was. Now, I know Thug's kids, they made a diss song about Gunna. And I know Thug's family was basically calling out Gunna, calling him a snitch too. And I know it was some other members or, or people who might be cool with the YSL music label. I'm not going to call it a gang. It was a music label to me. But I know it was some people who was free who was also saying Gunna was a snitch. And I heard, you know, after he got out, Speaking of Gunna, he wasn't really, I'm not going to say allowed, but he wasn't running around everywhere he used to before the whole YSL situation and before the snitching allegations. I heard, you know, Gunna was staying far away from anything that seemed to be a little turbulent, a little street personified. He wasn't nowhere near the hood, the block, or any of the members, Okay. Which is smart. I feel like that's what Thug should be doing right now. He shouldn't be nowhere near any of the streets. But I'm just saying, they said Thug, I mean, they, they said Gunna had to move different after the plea deal. Okay? So, the last thing everybody kept telling me was, why do you think they gonna be cool again after the phone call? And I said, oh, the phone call. Y'all remember this phone call that Thug sent out to Lil Durk and a few other people when he was going to release the album? Check it out. Hey, Durk, I know I want you on. I'm dropping this. I'm dropping this, um, <clears throat> this, this, this um, surprise album on the same day that same day Buddy dropped his album. That shit coming up soon. I need a verse from you. If you if you feel like replying, if you feel like you want to reply to what that nigga saying or something, man, don't 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 do it. Let it, drop it on my app. I'm dropping a, a surprise app on the same day that fuck nigga drop it. <clears throat> Send your verse in, bro. I want you and Wham on the same song. Send your verse in. Love, I love you, bro. Now it really wasn't a phone call. It was more like a voicemail. But y'all get the gist of it. But I remember when this came out, I said to myself, I don't know if I can really hear that and say. That they beefing. I thought to myself, well, maybe, you know, this was Thug trying to play off of the beef 
for some extra plays, some extra sales, you know. I said, we really not going to know how cool Gunna and Thug are until Thug get out of jail and they both free and we're able to see how they mingle with each other or how they get along with each other, right? And by the way, if y'all remember, while Thug was locked up, Gunna was on the internet kind of pretending like they was cool. I know he was wishing Thug happy birthday. He was doing a lot of stuff where it was like he was uplifting Thug. I even think in some lyrics he was saying, yo, I can't wait till my mans get out of jail. I think he was even rapping about Thug getting out of jail, if I'm not mistaken, right? He didn't put out, I want to say, maybe one or two projects since the plea deal, if I'm not mistaken either, right? So it seemed like he was almost rapping like he was cool with Thug. And so that had a lot of people on the fence like me saying, I don't know. But to see this tweet, it just makes it feel like it's official. Okay, they they not getting back together. Pause. I, I don't mean it like that, but I'm saying I don't think we going to see Thug and Gunna back in the studio working on music. But here's my thing. You talking about y'all not friends. Well, drop them from the label. Why is he still on the YSL label then? Then drop him. See, to me, that would have been the first immediate clarification to the fans that you not cool with Gunna is if as soon as you got out, Gunna got dropped from YSL. Because to me, if you do have an issue with him snitching, then why would you even want him on the label? Why you still want to make money off of him? So the money is more important than the street code, your integrity and sh and things of that nature. Because to me, if you care so much about the streets, then he shouldn't be on the label. I don't think it's like hood or, or like street certified for you to make money off of him. But you think he a snitch. He shouldn't be associated at all with you or your business, if you ask me. I remember when Thug got the details of his probation, it said he was allowed to be around Gunner. And I was wondering, did Thug's lawyer push for that? Or was that something that was just automatically put in his probation details because Gunner was on the label, right? So even with this tweet, I'm still confused. Y'all got to let me know. Do y'all think Thug was hacked? Y'all think this is real? Let me know. Do y'all think it's really over between the 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 Atlanta fashionistas? <laughs> Cause remember the first little rap fashionistas, it was Thug and Uzi. Then it seemed like Thug replaced Uzi with Gunna. If y'all remember the timeline, okay. So like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.